Travelers, what brings you around Northern California? Hello, I'm my, hello, I'm Charles Bennett, and my friend Mr. Scott, did I hear someone singing about gold? Oh boy, you got a bad case of gold fever. I hate to break it to you, there ain't no gold here in Northern California. Not yet, anyway. Not yet? What do you mean? Well, Charles, having looked at the calendar, the new year of 1848 has just barely begun. Yeah, everything's which it should be around this time of the century. Then they're on from Mazda for, for Soda's Mill, the Fort, and a few ranchos. Ranchos? I love that salad dressing! Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, you mean ranch Doritos. Those are the best for parties. We don't got no Doritos, no parties, no ranchos. Nothing exciting until January 24th. January 24th? What's so special about that day? What, Dadgum? You mean to tell me you know about Sutter's Mill and what's going to happen on January 24th? How should we know? We don't have a crystal bar or something. We're just travelers. Well, you better get traveling on up to Sutter's Mill to find out. Captain John Sutter will give you a job there. But this didn't come from me. But for our, you ought to watch out for that James Marshall guy. Who is James Marshall? He's about to give everyone a true case of gold fever that will change the history of this place forever. What a beautiful day. My gracious, time goes by so slow here at the mill, I forgot what day it is. Why, it's January 24th, 1848. Whoa, that was a fast answer. What do you have, a crystal ball or something? Uh, no. I just... I just have... I just got a feeling it's going to be a, a great day. I got a feeling that today's going to be a great day. That today's going to be a great day. I got a feeling. Eureka, I found it. Gold, my friends. Oh, no, no. That can't be. I know it to be nothing else. Gold. Excuse me, Captain Sutter. I have some very important news. What is it now? I found gold, ma'am. Real solid gold right near your sawmill. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. I know it to be nothing else. Gold! Gold! 
Quiet down, Marshall. Let's just keep this just between you and me. It's just between us. A little secret, let's not make a fuss. Our little secret, we won't tell a soul. Nobody needs to find out we found it. It's our little secret, we'll just tell our friends. Maybe a cousin, but that's where it Talk too loud. If we are careful, we won't draw a crowd. Our little secret, no one here will cheat. We all are masters of being discreet. We found gold, 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 we found gold. Shh, shh. But it's a secret, a secret, a secret, a secret. Samuel Brannon from the California Star newspaper. I'm the only one in the press shop to write this article because everybody has rushed to the hills. Grab your picks and shovel, boys. There's gold, gold, gold everywhere here in California. There's enough gold for everybody to take in 50 years. James H. Gleason of the Plymouth Rock News, February 1st, 1849. A very rich gold mine has lately been discovered, and everybody in the country is rapidly hasting towards it. About one million dollars has already been extracted from the mine. Journalist Edward Gold Buffum here. The men in California are earning $100 of gold a day. How delighted I was at my first stick of soil when I discerned about 20 low golden particles sparkling in the sun rays. John Soul of the Indiana Express. It's clear all can find their fortune in California. Go west, young man, and grow up with the country. Hurry, everyone. Go west.
Donner Party. Hurry up, we gotta get this wagon train and moving, or we'll never get to California before the winter storms hit. Are you sure we can make it through the Sierra Mountains safely? There are children in our company, you know. Don't get worried, sir. We're taking a new and better road through the Hastings Cutoff. We'll be there in no time. Wait, Dad, wait! Someone has taken my doll. I can't go on a long track without her. Don't worry, little sis. I've got your doll right here. Now let's get going. I can't wait to stake our claim on a new territory. We'll be rich as kings! Let's see, now that it's 1849, you can pack up yourself and your entire family, stick them in the back of a covered wagon, and travel about two miles an hour through deserts, blizzards, dangerous mountain passes, and quicksand. Well, that sounds like a thrilling way to travel. If you can ignore the mountain lions, r rattlesnakes, and scorpions, not to mention the horrible blizzards. No kidding! I hear the donor party gets stranded in the blizzard in the Sierra Mountain. They hardly had any food or shelter all winter long. That might be the way the 49ers chose to travel, but not you. You can board a luxury steamboat and make your way to the riches of the West on ship. We are out on smooth waters, eat three square meals a day, and enjoy the entertainment nightly. All, all aboard! Now, now, what is going on here? Robert Fulton, are you polluting the minds of these good citizens with your lies about the steamship? There ain't no lie about our trusty Mississippi Queen. Yes, but what about the clipper ship? Oh, uh, the clipper ship? The one that takes you around the horn? That won't be too peachy. That's right. It's a horrible trip. My friends and I will tell these good folks all about it. Argonauts, come on and tell us the truth about your sea voyage to California. We shot the mines. We're Argonauts, Argonauts. We're going nuts on a six-month ocean trip. We're Argonauts, Argonauts. We're going nuts. 16,000 miles by ship. Hey, buddy, let's dance. Yeah, I don't want to do that either. How about hide and go see? Hello, is anybody awake here? 
Now that's what I call roughing it. I see an elephant now. Look, we made it to the San Francisco Bay. That took forever. We took so long that California became a state during our trip on September 9th, 1850. Forget about calling us the 49ers. Oh man, the only reason I came to this territory was so I wouldn't have to pay any taxes. Don't worry, taxes won't come around for another 150 years. We can leave that for our great-great-grandchildren to sort out. Well, let's not forget while we're here. I think I could smell the gold from here. We better get some shovels and pans. I'm finally starting to get gold, f gold fever in my bones. Hold it, fellas. It looks like we got some more Ford Niners made it here to San Francisco. Hey, so you have a couple pennies from your journey, eh? Well, it's going to cost you a bit more than that. Yeah, once gold is found, prices have skyrocketed. Just one little egg for your breakfast will cost you $3. Three dollars? That's crazy! That's outrageous! That's right, so you better get yourself up in the, those gold mines and find yourself some gold. I can't wait to see their faces after they turn over 50 pounds of dirt and still, found and have, and still haven't found a single nugget of gold. So many piles! Sometimes I think I find gold, but it's really just another rock. Oh darn, were we foolish thinking that all these hills were covered in gold? We surely were fooled. That gold is nearly impossible to find. But I still keep thinking I'm going to find some real soon. You've got the bad case of gold fever when you just keep telling yourself you're just one pan away.
gold. Dang, gold ain't nothing but fool's gold. Ugh, I guess that's all I'm surrounded by now. Just a bunch of fools. Calm down, old friend. It ain't our fault. Stop being so cranky. How can we help ourselves? It's 105 degrees out here. Ugh, and my back's killing me. And my pants keep getting holes in them from all this digging. Take your pants over to Levi Strauss. He can make them real quick for you. Mr. Levi Strauss? I think I will. Thank you for the recommendation. Good gracious. We all need a little more gold around here. I guess we've all been away from home for far too long. I sure do miss my wife and children. Come to think of it, I haven't seen a single woman or child these whole two years I've been in California. <laughs> If I didn't know any better, I'd say that I smell fresh bread being baked right here in the woods. Smells like just the ones my mama made back home. Look, by golly, it's a baker baking bread. Hello. Uh, hi there, uh, can I help you? May I have your name, miss? Luzanna Stanley Wilson, pleased to meet your acquaintance. Sweet Luzanna, I will pay you five. No, make that ten dollars to have a piece of your homemade bread. Wow, I thought you were just going to pay ten dollars for just a little piece of bread. Well, he did pay ten dollars each for your wonderful bread, Luzanna. We haven't had good home cooking bread in years. You see, Mr. Levi Strauss, the pants keep getting holes in them every time we kneel down on the rocks. I'll be darned. It won't do any good to mend these pants. You're going to need a whole new type of fabric. Here's some special pants I made from my sturdy canvas tent. It'll last you a lifetime. Yippee, look here, fellas. I got me some new pants that'll last me forever. Where from? They're Levi's. Wow, you just made a fortune selling some pants. And I made a fortune selling bread. That's a smart way to get rich around here. I've been getting my own gold by selling hundreds of shovels and pans. Same here. Come and get all the ointment you need. That lotion will make gold dust stick to your skin. $25 for a shovel. Get him while you can. This bottle of ointment is only $40 a bottle. Wow, a real deal out here in the West.
Well, our case of gold fever only lasted for a few years. Not everybody who came to California got rich by finding rivers of gold. In fact, only a few people made a fortune by finding gold. People soon discovered the riches of the West were found in many other ways, like in the fruitfulness of the forests and in the waving plains. And the wide open spaces with enough room to start a family and grow. That, my friends, is the real gold fever of California. It's in the mountains, rivers, plains, sea, and in the people. It's all gold! And that was Noah Acosta. Can you come and step forward, please, Noah? And Noah played the drum kit here in his family, came and they brought it into school and they set it all up for him a couple of days ago and he practiced in the rehearsal time and outside of school time as well. And he worked so hard he sent in videos of what he wanted to perform and he did a big audition to be able to perform here today. So let's take another round of applause. Gavin also auditioned to play on the piano. And Gavin worked very hard to come up with his own rhythm and he came to me one day and he said, Oh, Miss Drelling, can I audition on the tambourine for this song? Because I think I've got a really good rhythm to show you. And he certainly does. He's got the best rhythm ever, don't you? And we had almost everybody on a microphone or doing a solo dance here because this fourth grade are so full of talent. 
that everybody wanted to do everything and overall they were all fantastic.